Following earning a pro contract with the under-23 Dimension Data team by beating 30,000 other male Zwifters to win the Team Dimension Data Zwift Academy last year, Slovenian Martin Labrik moved to Luca in Italy to immerse himself in the lifestyle of a pro cyclist. The last time we caught up with him, he was adjusting to his new way of life, but ill health made for a challenging and ultimately disappointing start. Last couple of months were really hard for me. Like the problem with testosterone really messed me up. I, I had, I would say, some uh, sort of depression because of it. It helped a lot that I went home, I would say. Basically a good month at home. And yeah, just the family around, like having my dog beside me. Now I feel a lot better. And yeah, that's more like me. And it feels a lot better now. <laughs> Every training and every race, he, he gives uh, everything for the team, for, for himself, so it's a very professional rider for me. I think uh, we are a strong team here, everyone is strong and uh, we're just ready to start fighting. Today we are off to the stage one of the Tour of Val di Aosta. Mom is probably nervous, she always is always a bit scared that I don't crash. My father is like the, the loudest one cheering for me, I would say. <laughs> you can hear his voice from <laughs> a K in front, for sure. <laughs> they probably believed in me more than actually I did in myself, so they are quite happy and yeah, also probably proud. <laughs> you actually realize how much you want it because of that, and I was also concerned about the contract for next year. It will be hard to find a team, like especially a, a good one, like this one. Yeah, just gives you more motivation to train harder and yeah, try to get some results which will get you the contract. Okay guys, today start uh, Giro Val d'Aost. First stage, 126 km. For Martin this week I think it's a very, very good opportunity because uh, he's strong in the, in the climb. Five stages, uh, 17,000 meter climb. It's very, very, very hard. Confounding his lack of self-belief, Martin delivered his best results of the season so far in one of the toughest and most prestigious races on the World Under-23 calendar with a 10th place and three other top 20 stage placings, rewarding him with a mightily respectable 13th overall. And can Martin maintain this fresh momentum to secure a contract for next year? Join us next time to find out. If you survive racing in Italy, then you're prepared for anything, I would say. Don't forget, if you'd like the chance to turn pro or simply to challenge yourself alongside thousands of other Zwifters, registration for this year's women's and men's Zwift Academies is open until September the 1st.